Oh my god, you guys. I'm not gonna scream everywhere because this is just not how I'm like. like I'm a very shy and introvert person and I don't scream everywhere like some people do on YouTube when they hit 1k. But I'm really, really, really shook first of all and I'm so grateful and happy that I finally hit the 1k because let me tell you, it wasn't an easy journey. It's been two, three years three years I believe but we're finally here and I'm so grateful for all the support that I'm getting and I'm just oh my god wait it's so hot in here just before I hit 1k someone asked me on like in the comments if I could do a Q&A video to celebrate the future 1k and I thought yeah that's a cool idea I still have time though I was like at 900 something and I was like yeah I still got time until 1k you know and like a week after this I can see like the, the number rising and it was so fast that I didn't have the time to realize it and to process th <laughs> to process things and now here we are and and I don't know what to do. Um, hi, I'm Hio and I like doing videos. So uh, I asked you guys on Instagram if you could like ask me some questions and I got quite a lot. And I know some of you guys are thinking, well, she's freaking out about 1k. And it's true, it's just 1k for some people because we're used to see all these influencers and like icons with so many followers and when we hit 1k it's just like normal oh my god that's my mom love that it's really a big deal for me because i'm very passionate about this and this is the moment where i tell my very very boring story so if you don't want to hear it here you go yeah i know yeah you're welcome don't worry about it i'm so hyped you guys i don't know what just feel i feel good you know <sighs> So ever since I was in high school, I really wanted to be a filmmaker and it was something that I was very passionate about. I think it was like my dream job at the time and it's kind of still my dream job, but in another way, obviously. Um, but yeah, I, I was in this uh, movie club, film making club uh, in high school and we were asked to do some projects and it was really fun. And um, yeah, ever since high school, I, I just, I knew I wanted to become a filmmaker, but something was missing out, you know, and I don't know, it didn't click. Even though I always had like this visual mind, like if I listen to music, I'll be like creating scenes in my head, like movie scenes. But when I actually sit down with the intention of like creating a movie, it's a chaos, like I don't know what to tell. I don't know what story to tell, you know. And starting YouTube, it just combines my two passions, which are filmmaking and kawaii fashion, and also Japanese culture. It's, it's really like something that you don't know you're gonna achieve, but you know you're, you'll get there someday, and when you get there, it's just like everything clicks and everything makes sense. Okay, so I have my laptop here and I'm gonna read the questions. I wrote them here because it was easier than my phone because I'm actually using my phone to record right now, so... Um, okay, first question. <laughs> first question. Are you a Potterhead or even read or watched Harry Potter? Um, why, why did I take this accent? <laughs> yes, I did watch Harry Potter. I just never read the books, but I really love it. And yes, I'm a Potterhead and I'm actually <laughs> half above. Yay! <laughs> Obviously. Oh my god! Oh, oh, wait. Oh, my ankle. Oh my god. Second question. Do you listen to BTS? I don't. I used to listen to them a while ago when I was in middle school actually because I met two friends uh, and they were really passionate about K-pop. They introduced that to me and I was really obsessed at the time but uh, I don't anymore. I... Mm. <laughs> this one's cute. Do you think there are bunnies on the moon? Okay, I think there are bunnies 
and they are actually eating all the cheese of the moon and okay that's too much <laughs> any tips for better hair growth um if you mean your hair or uh, like actual hair uh i do have one tip that i use uh and it's how do you call that i put you like something here but this oil i use it on my hair like on my scalp actually and i just one once or twice a week i'll just massage my hair before shampooing it and yeah it's really working very well why do you love japan oh my god this is okay you sound like someone who interviews me for a job <laughs> I really something that I really like is their style of life, their lifestyle. I can't pronounce it. Their lifestyle and um, the sceneries, obviously, and also the, of course, the kawaii culture. People are like because I know it's not like everyone there, and I know I can't really tell because I've never been there yet. But I know that people over there are very like about the society. Yeah, because I'm not used to this kind of uh, mentality, I guess, because here everyone's just like, me, me, me. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that I really like how Japanese people are selfless. Also, the fact that the culture there is so different from the Western culture which I grew up in makes it even more interesting. Oh my god, this is gonna be hell to edit. Next question. <laughs> um, what... What is... wait, <laughs> I can't see. What is your dream job? As I said earlier, my dream job would be filmmaking, but more like YouTube now. Like YouTuber would be my dream job right now, you know. Or translator. I know it sounds really boring, but I somehow really love translating, so yeah. Would you be interested in investing more time and energy in art? Yes, definitely yes, because I feel like I have this thing that wants to come out, you know, this creativity that I just can't do with YouTube. For example, the other day I saw uh, a picture, I'll put it over here if I can, and it's like cute little figurines made uh, from clay, uh, and it's like clay puff, I think, um, the person who made them, the username is clay puff. I'll put their account here too but um, yeah I thought it was so cute and I saw a tutorial and I really wanted to do my own you know it's really something that I really want to try what are your fashion and aesthetics inspirations um okay so if you mean people <laughs> Bunchy and um, I can't pronounce her name but her <laughs> And um, yeah, these kind of people who make very pastel outfits. And if you mean aesthetically wise, right now I'm very inspired by uh, the whole gaming thing, magical girl kind of theme too. Uh, I'm actually watching a lot of uh, magical girl anime right now. Next question. Uh, do you speak Spanish? Please say something. Sorry, I don't really speak Spanish. I don't actually speak Spanish at all. Um, I had Italian classes when I was in high school, but I don't remember a lot of this as well. But I can say something in Spanish. Hola, hablo español. I don't know. <laughs> Next question. When are you... When are... This is my friend and she's messing with me. When are you coming to the fabulous hair salon we all need to see a coconut I, I wish I could come very soon because as you can see my hair is like my bangs are very long right now and I really need a coconut haircut <laughs> next question oh sorry next question um, first place you're going to visit after you arrive in Japan very first place I think it will be well, the place I'm staying in, uh, I'm staying in Chiyojiri, in the prefecture of Nagano, Nagano. And yeah, I think the first thing I'm gonna do is explore, you know, the place where I'm living. <laughs> Next question. Why are you so cute? And this is Chibi Mikan speaking. If you don't know her, check her out. She has a YouTube channel and she's really, really kind and really cute. And she makes such great content. I really love her videos. A favorite character, Sanrio San X. Obviously, yeah, 
He's my favorite, he's my boy, he's my favorite character, I just really love him so much. But wait, I discovered a new character that is so underrated and her name is Kogimune. She's like a cute little bread dough, I guess, and she's so cute and so fluffy and soft and I'm so sad that I don't provide more um, items um, with her, you know, because I would buy everything. Oh, this is the last question. Do you think you're going to change your style soon? Uh, no, I don't think I am because um, I really love this fashion and it's really something that resonates with me. I know that a lot of people um, grow out from kawaii fashion and they move on to more mature style and um, I don't know, for some reason even though I try sometimes, like I try different styles and it's just it's just not me, you know, and I don't feel like myself when I'm wearing normal clothes or more mature stuff. So I discovered uh, this fashion when I was very low in my self-confidence and it just brought me like so much confidence and so much happiness that somehow it just anchored in me and I'm just not giving up on this for now. Maybe I will someday but for now I just can't see myself wearing something else. That was it for the questions and answers. I hope that you liked it and I hope that I answered your questions well. I did my best because I it was a bit messy, you know, I didn't prepare anything, I just answered to them, like, spontane spontaneously. Yeah, I'm going to go now and I'm going to make myself a nice snack because I'm starving. I'll see you guys very, very soon and thank you again so, so much for the support. I love you all so much, you don't even know how happy this made me, like, I'm so hyped up. Bye-bye!